Show me buddy, it's Henry from Master Dan, bringing you today's strange facts of the day. Today's strain is Georgia Pie, ladies and gentlemen. Cookies have a pretty undeniable genetics in their liability. Strains that are so sweet, unique in flavour and effects that hype immediately builds around them. That sweet little treat named Georgia Pie is a perfect example. It's sweet, it's gassy, it's potent, and it checks off all the boxes for a consumer. So, if you've seen it on a dispensary menu and are wondering if it's worth your time, whether from cookies or any other brand, putting out Georgia Pie, the answer is yes. Sorry, you had a pop up there. Here is what makes Georgia Pie special. What is the Georgia Pie cannabis strain? Georgia Pie is another strain that comes from the folks at Cookies. It is produced in a collaboration with Seed Junkie Genetics, one of the most in-demand breeders right now. Seed Junkie is famous for strains like Wedding Cake, Ice Cream Cake and Jealousy, which is sure to blow up within the next couple of years. Georgia Pie is a cross between Gelati and Kush Mint. It is an indica dominant hybrid, high THC strain, THC strain, its average content being around 21% according to leaf leafly strain data and around 27% according to the wiki leaf strain data. What does Georgia Pie look like? The Georgia Pie flower looks incredible. It is flushed with green and purple. The compounds inside plants that give their colour is called anthocyanins. Cyanins, ano anthocyanins. The compounds inside plants that give their colours, probably not pronouncing that correctly, but this plant is covered in trichomes and orange hairs that let you know whoever grew the plant has been mastering the art for years. From the touch, it should be sticky and dense, exactly how you want your nugs. Break them down and the colours mash up together into a pile of orange, purple and green that will remind you of the fruit bowl from your local buffet. What does Georgia Pie smell and taste like? Georgia Pie is heralded for its peach cobbler like smell and taste. It's funny because the concentrate form of Georgia Pie definitely does taste sweet like peaches and has the consistency of marmalade inside of a peach cobbler, the dessert. On the nose, it's sweet, floral and fruity. On the taste, it really is sweet. It's also gassy, which is a pleasant surprise. Dab some Georgia Pie hash and you'll definitely detect the diesel also. All of this is a product of Georgia Pie's terpene profile, which features an abundance of limonene, caropiphene and linalool. Limonene is known for its uplifting qualities. Caro Carophyllene is known for its relaxing qualities and linalool is known for its sedative qualities. With these perceived traits, it is easy to see why Georgia Pie delivers such a heavy euphoric um, experience to many of the people who consume it. Knowing a strain's terpene profile is helpful in knowing how to, it may affect you. In the future, the information will present on most cannabis packaging. Therefore, it's important to get familiar with them now. Georgia Pie Effects and Experience Georgia Pie is expected to provide a super potent high to all consumers. The effects start in the head as an uplifting feeling that relaxes you and over time, it creeps into your body making you just want to chill. With its high potency for many consumers, Georgia Pie delivers a knockout punch. Thus, many medical consumers that struggle with things like pain or insomnia might benefit from the heavy potent effects of Georgia Pie. Some people consider Georgia Pie to be a creative high, great for tossing on a new album and getting lost in an art project. On Leafly, the cultivar's top three reported effects are relaxed, uplifted and creative. Is Georgia Pie a head high or more a body high? As with every strain, 
it's important to remember that each cannabis product affects people differently. Lee Fly's description of Georgia Pie suggests that it could be both a head and body high. Some of Lee Fly's reviewers agree. According to one Leafly reviewer, Georgia Pie tastes like peaches for sure, light cotton mouth, but overall I am experiencing great body high, as well as a potent head high. Another Lee Fly of a review said, so it's good, hits heavy after about 30 minutes. The high for me was a heavy body relaxation and a heavy head high. Uh, and another reviewer said, I'm respect from the region, did a review, a few puffs may lead to a clear head and inspiring thoughts that zone you in and out whatever you're working on to unwind. This might be a great strain to finish off your night and fall asleep with while watching your favourite show or doing some light reading. The body high that might wrap around your body may feel like a cosy blanket. The best way to describe Georgia Pie is a head and body high and it's to try and, and also obviously to try the strain yourself to, to actually really know. Just make sure to approach it slowly if you need to cannabis and don't know your tolerance. Responsible consumption is important in avoiding bad experience. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. That's been a massive thanks strain facts. I've been Henry, thank you very much for watching me. Don't forget to the like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you on the next one. Peace out.